you might be surprised about what I'm about to share with you today. In fact, this message is no accident, it was destined to find you right now, right before something incredible is about to happen in your life. I know it may seem like a bold claim, but if you are truly one of the chosen ones, then you're here for a reason. The universe, or rather God's divine timing, has brought you to this moment, and this is the message you need to hear before your life takes a major turn. Before we dive in, I want to remind you to like, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment with the number 77 below. That's right, type 77 to send a powerful signal to the universe, letting it know that you're ready to receive what's coming your way. Play this video on repeat to amplify that signal and absorb all the energy in it, because every time you listen, you're reinforcing the power of this message. If you are a true chosen one, you'll watch this video until the very end. But if you are not, chances are, you won't stay with me. The chosen are always drawn to their message. Now, let's begin. Chapter 1, The Moment Before the Shift Right now, you're standing on the edge of something extraordinary. There's a shift about to happen in your life, and this message is here to confirm that for you. Everything you've been feeling, the sense of anticipation, the restlessness, the strange signs around you, has been leading up to this very moment. The universe is aligning for your breakthrough, and you're about to step into a new season of favor, opportunity, and abundance. This feeling of something's about to happen isn't in your imagination. It's the divine whispering to your spirit, preparing you for the next chapter. But here's the thing about chosen ones, we don't get warnings like everyone else. No, when you're chosen, the shift comes right when you least expect it, but most need it. It comes at the exact moment when it seems like you can't go on any longer, and suddenly, everything changes. But what you need to realize is that this change isn't just external. The shift that's happening is a total transformation of your inner world, as well. Right now, your thoughts, your energy, and even your spirit are recalibrating to align with the life you are about to step into. The frustration you felt, the struggles you've endured, they weren't just random occurrences. They were all preparing you for what's to come. You may have wondered why certain things fell apart, why some doors stayed shut, and why relationships that seemed so important drifted away. Let me tell you, none of that was accidental. Everything that has happened has been divinely orchestrated to bring you right here, right to the moment before your breakthrough. This is the calm before the storm, the storm of blessings, favor, and opportunities that are about to flood your life. And let's be clear, this isn't the kind of storm that causes chaos or destruction. No, this storm is one of overflowing abundance and unexpected miracles. But, like with any storm, there's that eerie stillness beforehand, the quiet that almost feels unnerving because you know something big is about to happen. That's where you are right now. You're in the stillness, in the space between the end of one chapter and the beginning of a new one. And trust me, what's coming next is far greater than what you've left behind. But before that shift can happen, you must understand that everything you've gone through was for a reason. The trials, the setbacks, the delays, they were all part of the preparation for this very moment. The universe has been aligning things behind the scenes for you, even when you couldn't see it. And now, everything is about to come together. You see, chosen ones don't receive their blessings through ease and comfort. No, we are refined in the fire. The challenges you faced weren't there to break you, they were there to mold you. You've been tested because your blessing isn't ordinary, it's extraordinary. And you needed to be ready for it. It's as though the universe has been holding your hand through this journey, guiding you step by step. Even when you couldn't see the path ahead, even when you felt lost or confused, it was all part of the divine plan. Every moment of doubt, every tear, every frustration was part of a greater process, one that was meant to strengthen you, not weaken you. And now, that process is nearing completion. 
You are about to emerge from this season not just as a survivor, but as someone who is fully prepared to step into their destiny. Think of the caterpillar before it becomes a butterfly. It spends time in darkness, enclosed in a cocoon, undergoing a transformation that no one can see. It may seem still from the outside, but inside, there's an intense process of growth and change happening. And then, when the time is right, the butterfly emerges, completely transformed and ready to soar. That's where you are right now. You've been in the cocoon, hidden from view, undergoing a transformation that even you may not fully understand yet. But soon, very soon, you're going to spread your wings and fly. Your breakthrough is about to carry you higher than you've ever been. And let's talk about timing, because this is where a lot of chosen ones struggle. We live in a world where everyone wants things to happen quickly. We want the blessing, and we want it now. But divine timing doesn't work that way. It's not about what you want, it's about when you're ready. God, the universe, whatever you want to call it, doesn't operate on human schedules. The timing is perfect, even if it doesn't feel like it. So, if you've been feeling frustrated because things haven't happened when you thought they would, take comfort in knowing that everything is unfolding exactly as it should. The delay wasn't a denial. It was preparation. The universe has been aligning things behind the scenes for you, even when you couldn't see it. You weren't just waiting, you were being prepared. And now, everything is about to come together. Every prayer, every hope, every dream you've held close to your heart is about to manifest. But you need to be ready to receive it. Open your heart, clear your mind, and trust that what's coming is better than anything you could have imagined. So, as you stand on the edge of this shift, don't be afraid. Don't doubt what's happening, and don't let fear creep in. You've been through too much to let doubt steal your joy at the final moment. Instead, step into this new season with confidence. Step into it with the knowledge that you are chosen, that you are ready, and that what's coming is meant for you. The universe is aligning for your breakthrough, and it's about to change everything. You're standing on the threshold of something extraordinary. Are you ready to step through? Chapter 2. Signs from the Universe If you've made it to this chapter, then it's clear that something within you resonates with this message. That's not a coincidence. You see, the universe has a way of sending signs to chosen ones right before a major shift happens. These signs may not always be obvious at first, but once you start paying attention, they're everywhere. They could come in the form of repeating numbers, unusual dreams, a sudden sense of deja vu, or even random encounters that seem too meaningful to be accidental. If you've been noticing these signs lately, it's because the universe is preparing you for what's about to unfold. These signs are confirmations. They're reminders that you are not alone on this journey, that something bigger is at play. The universe is constantly communicating with us, but most people are too distracted to notice. Chosen ones, however, are different. You've been attuned to these subtle messages, even if you didn't realize it. The more you acknowledge the signs, the more they appear. It's like a language that only a few people can understand, and once you start listening, it becomes impossible to ignore. Have you been seeing repeating numbers like 1111 or 333? Have you felt like certain events in your life are lining up in ways that seem too perfect to be random? These are not just coincidences. They are signs that the universe is aligning everything in your favor. Pay attention to how you feel when these signs appear. Do they bring you a sense of peace, or do they ignite a feeling of excitement within you? That's because your soul recognizes them as markers on your path, guiding you toward your breakthrough. You may have also noticed that certain people have come into your life, or, just as importantly, certain people have left. This, too, is a sign that you are being prepared for something greater. People are removed from your life when they no longer align with where you're going. This can be painful, but it's necessary. 
You've been elevated to a different frequency, and not everyone can come with you. Those who are meant to be part of your journey will stay or enter your life at the right moment, but those who aren't aligned with your destiny will naturally fall away. When these signs appear, it's important to acknowledge them. Don't brush them off as mere coincidences or random occurrences. These are divine messages guiding you toward your purpose. Take note of them, meditate on their meaning, and reflect on what they're trying to tell you. The more you do this, the more clarity you'll gain about the next steps in your journey. Sometimes the universe will send people into your life who deliver messages without even realizing it. A stranger may say something in passing that resonates deeply with you, or you may overhear a conversation that sparks an idea or brings clarity to a question you've been struggling with. These seemingly random moments are anything but random. They are orchestrated by the universe to give you the answers and insights you need, right when you need them. As you start to recognize these signs, you'll notice that they tend to appear more frequently right before a significant change. This is the universe's way of saying, get ready, things are about to shift. The signs act as a countdown of sorts, preparing you for what's to come. The closer you get to your breakthrough, the more intense and frequent these signs will become. It's as if the universe is waving a flag, signaling that your time is near. The key is to trust these signs, even when you don't fully understand them. Sometimes they may seem cryptic or confusing, but that's okay. You don't need to have all the answers right away. What's important is that you remain open to receiving the guidance the universe is offering. Trust that the signs are leading you in the right direction, even if the path isn't entirely clear yet. Another sign that you're close to your breakthrough is a heightened sense of intuition. You may find yourself having sudden flashes of insight or gut feelings that seem to come out of nowhere. This is your inner knowing, your higher self, speaking to you. Pay attention to these feelings, because they are guiding you toward your destiny. Your intuition is the voice of the universe within you, and it's always speaking, if only you'll listen. As you move through this period of anticipation, stay grounded. The signs are there to remind you that the universe is working on your behalf, even when you can't see it. Trust the process, and trust that you are being guided. The signs you are seeing are leading you toward your breakthrough, and they are proof that the universe is aligning everything for your highest good. Chapter 3. The Power of Patience Patience is not easy. It's one of the hardest virtues to practice, especially when you know something amazing is on the horizon. You can feel it coming, and yet it hasn't arrived. The waiting can be agonizing, but patience is a critical part of the process. Chosen ones are often tested in their patience because what's being prepared for them is far greater than anything they could have imagined. And when something that monumental is in the works, it takes time. The waiting period is not meant to frustrate you, though it often does. It's meant to refine you. You've probably heard the saying, good things come to those who wait, but it's deeper than that. In the waiting, you're being prepared to receive what's coming. You're being shaped into the person who can handle the abundance, the opportunities, and the blessings that are about to enter your life. The waiting isn't wasted time, it's preparation time. During this period, you may feel like nothing is happening. You might wonder if you've missed your moment or if the universe has forgotten about you. But rest assured, that's not the case. The universe is never late. It always delivers at the perfect time, and right now, behind the scenes, everything is being aligned in your favor. The reason you haven't received your breakthrough yet is that there are still some final touches being put into place. There are details that need to be perfected, and you need to be in the right mindset and energy to receive them. It's natural to feel frustrated during the waiting period. You've been through so much, you've worked hard, and you're ready for your blessing. But impatience can delay your breakthrough. If you start to act out of frustration or desperation, you may end up making choices that aren't aligned with your highest good. 
This is why patience is so important. It allows you to stay centered, calm, and aligned with the flow of the universe. Think of it like planting a seed. You don't plant the seed and expect it to sprout the next day. You water it, you tend to it, and you trust that in time, it will grow. The same is true for your breakthrough. You planted the seeds through your actions, your prayers, your intentions, and now you must allow them the time to grow and bloom. You can't rush the process, but you can trust it. Patience is also about faith. It's about believing that the universe has heard your prayers and that the answer is on its way. It's about trusting that even when you can't see it, things are working out for you. This is where many chosen ones falter, they give up too soon, right before the breakthrough is about to happen. Don't let that be you. Hold on a little longer, trust a little deeper, and know that the wait is almost over. Chapter 4 E Embracing Change When your breakthrough finally arrives, it will usher in a powerful wave of transformation. Change is exhilarating, but it can also feel daunting, especially when it comes unexpectedly. Many chosen ones discover that their long-awaited blessings don't always come in the exact form they envisioned. The universe, in its infinite wisdom, often provides us not with what we think we want, but with what we truly need for our growth and purpose. It's crucial to stay open and receptive to the shape your blessings take. You may have spent months or even years picturing your breakthrough arriving in a certain way, but the universe has a much broader, higher perspective than you could ever imagine. It understands your needs on a deeper level, and when the change comes, it may look very different from what you anticipated. The challenge, then, is to embrace this change without resistance, to trust that the universe knows exactly what will propel you toward fulfilling your highest calling. Positive change, while exciting, can bring its own set of challenges. You may find yourself in unexpected roles or facing new opportunities that push you far beyond your comfort zone. Remember, this is part of the divine plan. The more flexible and adaptable you are, the easier it will be to flow with the new energy. Resistance to change only slows down your progress. On the other hand, the more you embrace this change, the quicker and more profoundly your blessings will manifest. For many chosen ones, fear of the unknown becomes the biggest hurdle. It's natural to feel apprehensive when your life starts to shift, especially if you're moving into unfamiliar territory. However, this is exactly where growth happens. You weren't chosen to live a life of mediocrity or comfort. You were chosen for something much greater, and greatness demands that you step into the unknown, that you leave behind the familiar, and embrace the uncertainty of the path ahead. As your life changes, never forget that you are fully prepared for this new chapter. Every trial, every setback, and every lesson has been equipping you for the moment of your breakthrough. You've been given the wisdom, strength, and resilience needed to navigate whatever comes your way. And remember, you're not on this journey alone, the universe has been guiding you all along, and it will continue to support you as you move forward. Change, especially when it comes in the form of blessings, is a sign that you are stepping into a new level of your purpose. It's a reminder that you're ready to handle the next phase of your life's mission. So, embrace the change with an open heart, trust that the universe knows what it's doing, and get ready to step into your new reality with grace, confidence, and courage. Chapter 5. Walking in Faith Faith is the bedrock of the Chosen One's journey. Without it, it's impossible to move forward, especially when the road ahead is unclear. Faith is the force that sustains you when things feel uncertain, when the waiting becomes overwhelming, and when the changes seem too much to bear. It's the unwavering belief that the universe is working on your behalf, even when circumstances don't seem to align with your expectations. Walking in faith doesn't mean that you'll never doubt or feel uncertain. Doubt is a natural part of the process, especially when you're on the verge of something great. But faith is about making a conscious choice to trust, even when doubt creeps in. 
it's the deep inner knowing that, despite how things might look on the surface, everything is unfolding exactly as it should. Faith allows you to move forward even when the path ahead seems murky or blocked. Throughout this journey, your faith will be tested. There will be moments of silence, when it feels like nothing is moving, like the universe has forgotten about your dreams. There will be moments of confusion, when everything seems to be falling apart just when you thought things were coming together. These are the moments that define your faith, the crucible in which true belief is forged. It's easy to trust when everything is going smoothly, but real faith is built during the moments of greatest adversity. When you hold on to your faith during those times, you signal to the universe that you're ready for the breakthrough. Faith, however, is not just a passive state of belief. It's about action. It requires you to take steps forward, even when you don't have all the answers. It's about moving toward your dreams and goals with the confidence that the universe will provide what you need along the way. This is the essence of walking in faith, it's a dynamic, active process that calls you to keep moving forward, trusting that each step brings you closer to your destiny. Being chosen for this journey means that you've been equipped with a unique purpose and vision, and faith is the compass that will guide you. It will help you navigate the storms, the periods of waiting, and the inevitable changes that come. Trust that the universe has a divine plan for you and that everything is happening in perfect timing, even when you can't see the full picture. Walking in faith requires surrender, letting go of the need to control every outcome and trusting in the divine timing of your life. When you learn to release control, you allow the universe to work its magic in ways that are far beyond what you could have planned. Stay rooted in your faith, and you will see how the universe orchestrates every detail of your journey, leading you exactly where you need to be. Chapter 6. The Power of Alignment As you move closer to your breakthrough, alignment becomes more important than ever. You see, chosen ones are called not just to receive blessings, but to be in perfect alignment with their higher purpose. This means that every aspect of your life, your thoughts, actions, and energy must be in harmony with the divine plan. Alignment isn't something that just happens by accident, it requires intention, awareness, and focus. You may have already noticed that when you're out of alignment, things just don't flow. There's resistance, confusion, and frustration. You might feel like you're pushing against the current, trying to force things to happen in your timing. But when you're in alignment, everything seems to flow effortlessly. Doors open, opportunities present themselves, and you feel a deep sense of peace and clarity. This is not a coincidence, this is the power of alignment at work. So, what does alignment look like? First and foremost, it means aligning your mind with the truth of who you are. You are chosen, and that's not something to be taken lightly. It means you were created with a specific purpose, and your breakthrough is part of fulfilling that purpose. But to fully step into this, you need to align your thoughts with this truth. Let go of any limiting beliefs that tell you you are not worthy, not capable, or not enough. These are lies designed to keep you from your destiny. Instead, Choose to believe that you are exactly who the universe says you are, powerful, chosen, and destined for greatness. Your actions must also align with this truth. If you know that your breakthrough is coming, then start acting like it's already here. Take steps in the direction of your dreams, even if they're small. When you act as if your blessing has already arrived, you create the conditions for it to manifest in your reality. This doesn't mean forcing things to happen, but it does mean being proactive. When you're in alignment, you'll know the difference between forcing and flowing. One feels like resistance, the other feels like ease. Energy is another key part of alignment. Your energy is your vibration, and your vibration is what attracts experiences into your life. If you're vibrating at a low frequency, filled with doubt, fear, or negativity, you'll attract more of the same. But if you raise your vibration by focusing on love, gratitude, and trust, 
you'll attract experiences that reflect those higher energies. This is why maintaining a high vibration is essential as you approach your breakthrough. One way to raise your vibration is through gratitude. Gratitude is one of the highest frequencies you can align with, and it opens the door to more blessings. Even before your breakthrough arrives, start expressing gratitude for it. Thank the universe for what's already on its way, and watch how that gratitude magnetizes more blessings into your life. When you live in a state of gratitude, you're telling the universe that you're ready to receive more. Another aspect of alignment is surrounding yourself with the right people. As your breakthrough approaches, it's crucial that the people in your life are aligned with your energy and your purpose. Not everyone is meant to come with you into your new season. Some people will try to pull you back into old patterns, while others will lift you higher. Pay attention to the energy of those around you. Are they encouraging you, supporting you, and helping you grow? Or are they draining your energy, sowing seeds of doubt, and keeping you stuck? You don't have to cut people off, but you do need to set boundaries that protect your energy and keep you in alignment with your destiny. Alignment also means being in tune with your intuition. Your intuition is the voice of your higher self, guiding you toward your breakthrough. But it's easy to ignore that voice when you caught up in fear or doubt. To stay in alignment, you must trust your intuition, even when it doesn't make sense to your rational mind. Your intuition knows things that your mind cannot comprehend because it's connected to the higher plan. When you feel those nudges or that inner knowing, trust it. That's your guide toward your breakthrough. As you step into alignment, you'll notice that synchronicities begin to happen more frequently. These are not coincidences, they are signs that you are on the right path. When you're in alignment, the universe responds by aligning people, opportunities, and resources to support you. Everything begins to flow, and you feel a deep sense of peace, even in the midst of uncertainty. This is the sweet spot of alignment, and it's where your breakthrough happens. Being in alignment also requires you to surrender. Surrender doesn't mean giving up, it means trusting the process and letting go of the need to control every outcome. When you're in alignment, you understand that the universe has a plan far greater than anything you could orchestrate on your own. You allow yourself to be guided, trusting that everything is happening for your highest good. Surrender is not about passivity, it's about faith. It's about knowing that you don't have to force things to happen because the universe is already working on your behalf. Finally, alignment means staying present. Your breakthrough is not just something that will happen in the future, it's something that's already unfolding in the present moment. The more you focus on the now, the more aligned you become with the flow of the universe. Stay present, stay grounded, and trust that everything is happening exactly as it's meant to. Chapter 7. Receiving Your Breakthrough You've made it this far, and now you're standing at the threshold of your breakthrough. Everything you've been waiting for, praying for, and working toward is about to manifest. But here's something important, receiving your breakthrough requires as much intention and openness as the journey leading up to it. You must be ready to receive, not just in your mind, but in your heart and spirit. Receiving is an active process, not a passive one. It's about making space in your life for the new things that are about to come. This might mean letting go of old habits, beliefs, or even relationships that no longer serve you. Remember, you can't receive something new if your hands are full of the old. So as your breakthrough approaches, take a moment to reflect on what you need to release. What is holding you back from fully stepping into this new season? What is weighing you down and keeping you from soaring to new heights? Let it go and make room for the blessings that are on their way. Receiving also requires openness. Sometimes, our blessings come in unexpected ways. You might have a specific idea of what your breakthrough will look like, but the universe often has a way of surprising us with something even better. Stay open to the possibilities. 
don't limit yourself by clinging to a narrow vision of how things should unfold. Trust that the universe knows what's best for you, and be willing to receive whatever form your breakthrough takes. One of the biggest barriers to receiving is doubt. Even when the blessing is right in front of us, doubt can creep in and make us question whether we are truly worthy of it. This is where many chosen ones stumble. They've waited so long, worked so hard, and when the breakthrough finally arrives, they doubt that it's real. Don't let doubt steal your blessing. You are worthy of everything that is coming your way. You've earned it, and now it's time to receive it with open arms. Receiving your breakthrough also means stepping into a new level of responsibility. With great blessings come great opportunities, but also new challenges. Your breakthrough isn't just about receiving, it's about rising to the occasion. It's about taking the blessing you've been given and using it to fulfill your purpose. This is why alignment is so important. When you're aligned with your purpose, you can handle the blessings that come with ease and grace. As you receive your breakthrough, remember that it's not just for you. You've been chosen to receive so that you can give. Your breakthrough is part of a bigger plan, one that will impact the lives of others. You are being elevated to a position of influence, and with that influence comes the responsibility to uplift, inspire, and guide those around you. The blessings you receive are meant to overflow into the lives of others, creating a ripple effect that spreads far beyond what you can see. Receiving your breakthrough also means stepping into your power. No more playing small, no more shrinking back. You've been chosen, and now it's time to own that. Step into the fullness of who you are and what you've been called to do. The world needs what you have to offer, and your breakthrough is the catalyst for you to step into that role fully. So as you stand on the edge of your breakthrough, take a deep breath and prepare to receive. Know that everything you've been through has led you to this moment. The waiting, the challenges, the signs, all of it was part of the preparation. And now, it's time. Your breakthrough is here, and you are ready to step into the next chapter of your destiny. Receive it with gratitude, with faith, and with the confidence that you are exactly where you're meant to be. This is your time, chosen one. The wait is over. The breakthrough has come. And now, the rail journey begins. As we come to the close of this message, I want you to remember one thing, everything that has been shared here today was meant for you, specifically you. This is not a coincidence, this is a divine alignment. You are on the brink of something life-changing, and the universe is preparing you for it. Now, more than ever, it's time to trust the process, stay aligned, and remain open to the miracles that are unfolding in your life. If you've made it this far, you are one of the true chosen ones. You've been called, and your breakthrough is imminent. Before we end, if you haven't already, be sure to like this video, subscribe to Astral Aura, and leave a comment with 77 below to send your signal to the universe. Remember to play this video on repeat to amplify the energy and make your connection even stronger. The more you engage, the more power you harness from this message. Chosen ones, your life is about to change in ways you cannot imagine. The universe, God, the divine, they've all conspired to bring you to this point. Don't doubt it. Stay the course, and watch how everything unfolds for your greatest good. Thank you for tuning in, and I can't wait to hear about all the breakthroughs that are coming your way. Stay blessed, stay chosen, and until next time, keep walking in your purpose. The best is yet to come.